guys, this is Karen from Curl House. Today I'm coming to you from my trichology center and I want to talk to you just a little bit about hair loss and hairstyles. So today I'm going to feature two of my, my uh, clients who are dealing with hair loss. The type of hair loss they're dealing with is called CCCA, which stands for Central Centrifugal Cicatricial Alopecia. CCCA. I know that was a tongue tire, but central means the hair loss starts right in the center. Centrifugal means it radiates out. Cicatricial means scarring and alopecia means hair loss. So that is the type of hair loss they have. It's inflammatory. It's scarring. This type of hair loss was first diagnosed in like the 1950s, it's a type of hair loss that predominantly affects black women. Back in the 1950s, it was said that, it was called actually hot comb alopecia, which meant back in the day, we didn't really relax our hair, but we did keep it straight. And we put a lot of petroleum in our hair to get it straight. So we would take that petroleum, straighten our hair, that petroleum would heat up and burn our scalp and that would cause the hair loss. Now that was back in the 50s. Still hasn't been a lot of conclusive information about CCCA, but that was how it started then. Now it's said to be, you could get CCCA from over-processing the hair, from relaxers, from tight braids, from tight hairstyles. And there was even a study that was recently produced by a doctor, I believe in Africa, who indicated that there may be a genetic component to it as well. But what I wanted to talk to you about today was just the hairstyles when you're dealing with hair loss. So these two clients, they both have, they're dealing with the hair loss, but I have encouraged them to wear their hair out. Not all women who are dealing with hair loss want to wear their hair out, feel comfortable wearing their hair out, desire to wear their hair out. And some women, because of the severity of their hair loss, may not be able to wear it out. But if you can, and if you feel comfortable, then I usually encourage my clients to do it, particularly if you are dealing with a form of alopecia that is a result of certain hairstyles while you're treating the hairstyles, it's best to, to for example, for a wig, if you have a form of traction alopecia, your hairline is thinning, it's gonna be best that you not wear a wig so that you don't further exacerbate the hair loss. But these clients, again, are dealing with a form of scarring alopecia. Their hair loss is primarily in the center of their hair, and I am encouraging them to wear it out. Now, one client has a very short haircut. Um, another client has pretty full natural hair. So the client with the short haircut, her hair loss again is in the center and her hair is natural. So not everyone wants to wear their hair natural. I get it. But when you're treating hair loss, it is recommended that you put no chemicals on your scalp. That includes permanent color and that includes a relaxer. So when I have clients who have relaxers, I encourage them to stop re relaxing their hair as they're going through the treatment. So this client, her hair is short. It's a very short haircut. As you can tell, it is purple. She is confident even with her hair loss. And because her hair is natural, the hair is fuller. So the her, her hair covers up the part of her hair that's thinning. You can't really see it. So when your hair is short, and you're dealing with hair loss that affects the central region of your hair, a short haircut is an option. Now, I recommend um, natural hair as opposed to relaxed hair because natural hair is fuller. It looks thicker um, than relaxed hair when the hair is straight. It really draws more attention to the area um, that's thinning. When it's natural, the hair just looks fuller. So this is one client who chooses to wear her hair short. She's dealing with hair loss. We are treating it. We've made significant progress from when we started, but she's wearing her hair out. And also that's very important because when you are treating your scalp and using products in your scalp, 
you don't want to put other styling products in the area that you're treating so whatever you're using to stimulate growth in that area you don't want to to fight with other types of styling products because you want the product that you put in your hair to be absorbed by your scalp so that's why i recommend when you're treating hair loss leave all the other stuff alone but here's this client she's looking like a bombshell okay and the next client she also is dealing with uh, CCCA and she has full natural hair. She has been wearing it throughout the duration of the treatment. She's been wearing a wig for a while, but I have encouraged her to wear her natural hair out because she has far more hair on her head than, she does, that, than she's lost. So she has a lot of hair. And when she wears it out, if you look at her, can you even tell? that she's losing her hair. So this is just a couple hairstyles that I tried with her that she can wear her hair out while she's in treatment. So these are just a few options for those, those women. Those of you out there who may be dealing with hair loss or who know someone who's dealing with hair loss, you can still wear your hair out if you feel comfortable. Okay, until we talk again, stay fat.